All righty. OSPF. Right? We're going to look at the same topology as we did before. But before we begin to do the configurations, I want to talk about wildcard masking. All right? This is simple. This is straightforward. You don't have to get all fancy with it. Like I've seen some people putting wildcards wildcard mask out there with 00128.1 and all sorts of craziness. No, 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 no. Remember, this is your CCNA. All right. Very simple. Very simple. I'm going to open up Notepad here. Okay. I'm going to put it right smack in the middle here. And this is what we're going to work with. Now, we're going to, when we start doing the configuration in our next lecture, we're going to be using the topology that's behind us. I want you to understand. Let's make the font a little bit bigger. So let's format. Font. Let's go ahead and make it a 20. You guys can see it very well. So, you know, if you're given a, a side or 30, what is the subnet mask, right? Uh, here, let's put some labels on here. Let's use caps. So this would be uh, CIDR, right? Classes into domain routing. Then you have the subnet mask. And then you will have the wildcard mask, right? So they give you a CIDR, CIDR 30, which is usually what we use uh, between serial points. 255.255.255.252, correct? And then you look at the wildcard mask, that's 0.0.0.3. .0 now, there's many ways to come up with this, right? Now, this is just one example. Now, I'm using this as my, my, my example, but I'm going to give you more wildcard masking as we go. So, there's a constant number, 255.255.255.255, all right? And I'll put in parentheses here, constant, all right? You put that there, because you're going to subtract your subnet mask from that constant number. All right, I mean, let me make it look pretty. Okay, that is your subnet mask. And I'm going to put it right here, too, in the parentheses, so you, you don't forget what this is. Subnet mask. All right? And what are you going to do with that? Well, let's hit home. Let's put a subtraction symbol there. And let's line them up again. All right, and let's bring the um, that over there. Okay, so when you subtract this, what do you get? You get zero dot zero dot zero dot when you take two from five three there it is that's how you get your sum the wildcard mask what does that mean that means that these three zeros or zeros when doing wildcard mask mask means match exactly so if you have an IP address and let's put it here another category I, oops, IP address. Let's bring it down. And let's say, for example, 10.1.1.5. That's the actual IP address, not network ID. That's an actual IP address. That means that the first three octets are 10.1.1. This could be whatever number. Well, how does it know the number? Well, it's looking what you put in your interface of 252. It knows that it's a block of four, right? When you put a three. Well, last, how do you know that it's a block of four? Well, if you guys watch my IPv4 addressing video, right? If I do my my line, right? My, I'm going to put it here, my subnet diagram. How I, how I do things, right, is x dot x dot x, right? All the same. How many bits are on? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Line one, two. Well, if you look at the bit values, which go on top, bit values on top, one, two, four. Right? We increment by four. All right? So it knows the range would be five and six. So when you're putting the wildcard mask, all right, say, hey, match the first three octets and then use a block of four and whatever falls within that range. 
That's what that means. Now, you can do it this way because if you add these two bit values together, which are 1 and 2, what do you get? 3. There's your wall card math. X is 0, 0, 0. And you add these two bit values, 1 and 2, it's 3. There you go. That's all it is. So you got two ways of doing it. You can do it this way or you can do it this way. Let's do another example. All right, let's use a cider 20. All right, Cisco's favorite. We have 255, that 255, uh, that 240.0. What will be the wall card mass? 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.15.255. Well, how do we get that for God's sakes? Well, let's put an IP address, right, within that range. So 10.1. Dot dot, let me see, we increment by 16. 16. Dot one. That'll be the first available IP address. Now I'm not gonna use the zero network. We're not gonna get into an explanation about the zero network or anything like that. But I just want you to understand Walker Mass a little bit better. All right. And how will this look the way I do it? X dot X dot one two three four line one two three four one two three four one two three four. So now we're working with two octets. So here we got one two four eight. Obviously, I am counting the values. So this bit value is 16, hence 16. All right, now, the bit value to the right is always gonna be one less the increment, but if you wanna go ahead and add, knock yourself out. If you add these bit values, one, two, four, and eight, guess what you get? 15. And if you add all the bit values, guess what you get? 255. And zero, zero, but, that's this method right up here, right? The submit diagram, the one that I do. Let's use the constant. And let me be really lazy here. And let me just copy paste this. All right. But now we got a different submit mask. We have a 240.0. Right? So now the values are not the same. If you take away 40 from 55, oh, look, you're left with 15. And you take away nothing from 255, it's 255. So this is how you come up with wildcard masks. Again, for your CCNA certification, this is all you have to do, okay? This is all you have to do. You don't have to go insane. Now, you're not going to get asked straightforward questions like this. Uh, an example that you may see will be something to the effect of you have the following network statement uh, network 192.168. Dot, dot, I don't know 32. Uh, dot zero, zero, dot zero, dot zero, nope, uh, 31.255. All right, and let's use OSPF just to make it a little bit more interesting, Area 51. Okay, so you have a network statement. This is a network ID, right? You have 31.255. Obviously, the mask is 255, 255, right? Just, just so you know, just so you know, I came up with that, 255, 255, 224.0, right? Which is x.x.123, .x line, 12345. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Is that four right there? One, two, three, four. No, oh, missing a zero. Okay. All right. Bit values. One, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. One less thirty-two, or the addition or the sum of these bit values is thirty-one. That's how I came up with that wildcard mass. And then all these added together, that's two fifty-five. That's where you get that. So obviously thirty-two dot zero. All right, is a network ID. And I'm telling you, hey, whatever addresses fall in within this range, block of 32, you know, it's going to participate in Area 51. And then once you see this statement right here, they're going to give you, hey, what interfaces fall in within this within this uh, network statement? So it'll give you a bunch of IPs with interfaces and you need to figure out hey i got this wall card mask so what is my range okay so this is what you're going to confront but again very simple 
And, you know, this is labs, okay? This is labs, but I just want to make sure you understand wildcard masking before we begin OSPF, okay? So, very simple, very easy. If you still have a little issue with this, you have the IPv4 addressing video that you can go ahead and get. It talks about wildcard masking as well. All right? So, this is it. Wildcard masking. We're going to be using it when we do OSPF. Not a big thing. I'll see you in the next lecture.